So I always get asked the question as to when I'm going to do a face reveal and if you do care about that, well, I done just that today on a podcast. So you can go ahead and visit that link in the description below where we talk all kinds of YouTube related stuff. There is a timestamp so just skip to that part in the video and yeah, if you actually care about that stuff, by all means just click that link in the description below. But welcome back to another video because it's January the 26th. At this stage, I don't even know who owns Marvel's Avengers anymore because that's how much we have heard from the devs. Literally zilch, okay? And it's getting absolutely crazy. Where is Hawkeye? Where is a roadmap? I mean, do you know what? Scrap a roadmap. Where is Hawkeye? Let's just leave it at that. And in fact, I may just even show a screenshot throughout the entire video of Hawkeye because it's almost like a video dedicated to him and his existence hoping that somehow he will be found in the files and then it'll just be in an update and every single fan will be I guess somewhat happy because well we've been waiting for a very long time and the communication is literally close to nothing at this stage they may as well just make an announcement saying that we are no longer going to announce things but all jokes aside even though it doesn't really feel like that was a joke because I know a lot of us can relate to that but what the problem here is okay is we all have these expectations we all have these theories and Lejeune, who is another YouTuber, made a very interesting video and big shout out to June, really, really cool guy, great Avengers content creator, so definitely check him out. But nonetheless, he had this theory on how we could actually possibly be getting an announcement from the 25th to the 29th, I think, and well, technically we're on the 26th now. And basically, it was meant to just be an announcement of Hawkeye and a release date, which was then meant to be like three weeks from now, which of course is actually legit i mean legit in the sense of he didn't just pull that out of thin air he's actually gone on previous track records when it comes down to the devs release and stuff and he was comparing it to kate bishop's release schedule and it all basically adds up but i mean as we basically get further away from this time frame as in like the 25th to the 29th things do get uh very 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 interesting because we're talking basically monday to friday we're talking this week okay working days now we know last week the dev stream was cancelled there is also the theory that maybe just maybe they cancelled the dev stream so that they can work on you know this whole dedicated uh, war table video which is always the best way to go right we've all agreed that but you see the problem is I, I mean I've made so many videos on this I have made so many videos talking about the communication and for some reason it just doesn't change whatsoever and I mean let's put the devs aside because we're not still talking about the devs we're talking about the big guys behind the devs that control this ship okay these are the dudes who are not listening. Like, it's not the devs' fault at all. They just are not able to do anything. But it's the dudes behind them that are still not listening, okay? I just don't understand why we wouldn't get a statement. Why we have no indication of where Hawkeye is coming. And heck, Hawkeye is a cool character, but he's still an archer. It's hardly a brand, brand new character. I want, I mean, it'd be different if it was something like War Machine even Black Panther, even Spider-Man. I just don't know what's going on. By now, by now I did expect something. We know that the other day they were sending out emails which is essentially stating, well first of all, you know, Hawkeye coming soon. So, I mean, that's probably like almost a way for the devs to say, hey, you know, we're listening to you guys, but we just can't say anything, but you know, we know what you all want, right? But then at the same time, we know that they were doing, well, it's still a rumor. I know Miller has actually confirmed it a few times, though, uh, that people have got this email for playtesting. I don't really know how you go through the whole playtesting sign-up process and how you can really end up on somebody's list, but whoever is on their list are getting emails to basically do a playtest for future content. When we talk about future content, I'm just assuming we have to be talking about this DLC solely, only this DLC, absolutely nothing else and the reason i say that because they might just be genuinely fearing that you know what's the point of dropping another you know dlc with us only going to find ourselves in a situation where we have to fix bugs after bugs and then we get delayed again all we know though is hawkeye is 
practically done. He was in Kate Bishop's DLC, not just in cutscenes, quite literally in your gameplay as well. So as far as the character models and everything go, I mean it's out there. I just get annoyed still with the communication. I mean we get these teasers, but when do you give up? When do you genuinely give up? That's how I feel and it, it just doesn't seem to be getting any better. But a lot of people tend to feel like I for some reason know the answers as to when content is coming out. I genuinely wish I, I, I was. If I was somebody who knew when content was coming out, I can assure you right now, my communication skills with you guys would be on point. Literally, it would be great. You would not go without any information. But there's just... Imagine being the guy holding all this information and seeing everything going on in the community. That's probably a crappy feeling, right? When you know you have all this stuff planned and it's like, hey, I know everything that's about to go down with this game over the next 12 months. And you see the community just falling apart. And you know you can't drop any of that info because you just don't have the authority to. That sucks, it really is bad, and it's not the dev's fault, and I keep having to stress this, but look, going on Lejeune's theory, and I, I bring up Lejeune's theory again because, like I said, it, he's a legit guy, he, he's actually brought up valid points, and in fact, I'd actually encourage you guys to go ahead and check out the video, which is Hawkeye's Reveal might be sooner than we think, and it is a theory, so it could be completely wrong, but... I mean, we will only find that out basically between now and Friday. So, is it possible? Yes, I'm not still going to throw it out the bag. I'm not going to say, well, Hawkeye isn't coming and that they just dropped everything. However, if we do genuinely get past this month, okay, these final crucial, what, technically six days if you go down to the 31st, but let's just say from now to Friday. So, these crucial, crucial three days there's no point counting today because nothing's gonna happen if it does I'll be extremely shocked but let's just say from Wednesday to Friday if nothing happens that is an entire month of no communication just one dev stream that was not technically a stream to answer any I guess valid questions more so just to play the game and for them to have fun with all due respect which they do a great job at in terms of their streams and just like hanging out with the community but as far as news goes it would be one solid month of no information and I don't think people realize how dangerous that is how crucial it is to not find yourself in a situation like that and thirdly how much of an impact overall it will have on the game's lifespan and the community throughout February and even onwards. It would not be good, it's just not a cool thing to do. But guys, leave your thoughts on this stuff in the comment section below. I want to know your thoughts. I genuinely want to know your thoughts on this because I want to be able to, of course, discuss these topics. But guys, I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day. And until the next one, adios amigos.